Hey, I'm here with Mike Liam from CPP today. We're uh, doing some uh, video work and we're talking first about Canada Protection Plan's new Express Elite Plan. So why don't you tell us a little bit about the plan, Mike, and what makes it unique and why you came out with it and all that fun stuff. Great, thanks Lauren for having us. Um, we came out with it on May 29th for one particular reason. We're reaching out into what we call the regular markets now. Uh, those, it's basically designed for people who are healthy, 18 to 60, it's only term, term 20 or term 30, and basically it's just for people who are very busy, have active lives, don't have time to meet with your brokers, um, they concentrate more on non-face-to-face -face interactions, and of course, again, no health issues really, just the fact that they don't have time to do a paramedical exam, they're the clients that reschedule the exams, that cancel the exams, that reschedule your appointments with the advisors that say, can we just do this online, I don't have time. Again, you know, people live busy lifestyles, so this is just an alternative solution for them to actually do you know, the application on their own time. Cool, um, now in terms of how it might differ from other carriers, is there anything that's really unique about the plan? What's unique about it is now we have our Express Elite, we've always had our what we call A to Z. Um, that's our old existing plan for people who are, weren't healthy. So a lot of the times people will, again, some people don't even know if they're healthy. So yeah. when they do an application, some people get caught on what we call MIB, the Medical Information Bureau. But yeah, some clients sure. don't even know what that is. Yeah, yeah. So when we see it, we can say now, if unfortunately we've caught something on MIB, you're not gonna qualify for our Express Elite app, but guess what? We can transfer all that information into our other app and still continue the simplified issue process with no medical. That sounds great. Thanks for telling us about it, Mike. Thank you.